They were uh, open elections. Uh, it looks like they, there was no fraud. And so people, the State Department and the Obama administration is saying more or less, look, if it was a clean election and there was no fraud, then we should fund that government. Well, I think that it matters uh, what that government is all about. Uh, are they going to support the peace agreement with uh, Israel? Uh, will they uh, uh, put an end uh, to violence against uh, Christians and human rights activists? Remember that Egypt is a place where our NGOs, non-governmental organization uh, workers, were actually detained in Egypt, held hostage, unable to leave Egypt because uh, Egypt said they were not a licensed NGO. And so this is, these are groups that tried to, to uh, become licensed, but Egypt would never accept their application. We had to pay Egypt, the United States government, meaning you, the taxpayers, $5 million for bail so that U.S. citizens could leave Egypt, come back to the United States, and guess what? There are still charges pending against these American citizens. How can we possibly think about giving funds to a government that, still, that we had to pay bail money to, who still has charges pending against American citizens? One of them is the son of a, a cabinet official of the Obama administration. Yet, this is an administration that rarely sees the difference between friend and foe. Um, when, uh, when we met with uh, Condoleezza Rice recently, uh, this week in DC, she said, you know, with a, with a Romney administration, I know in the next summit of the Americas, before he shakes hands with an Hugo Chavez, he's going to shake hands with the democratically elected leaders of the countries and not somebody who rules like a dictator like Hugo Chavez. We, have, we need an administration that understands the difference between friends, and that is Israel, and foes, which is the Muslim Brotherhood. Now the White House official line is this. You know, the Muslim Brotherhood, it's, uh, they're all, you know, there's 50 shades of gray. Not exactly in that, in that uh, uh, used in that way, but they say, you know, they're moderates. Uh, and there are more, more radical elements, but only about 10 or 15% of the Muslim brotherhoods are radical. The, net, the, other, the great majority are just uh, homegrown democratic activists. I mean, I don't know how that doesn't even pass the, the smile test. I'm smiling when I say that because it's so ludicrous, but that's what the Obama administration has to do. They have to distort the truth in order to justify giving hard-earned taxpayer dollars, dollars of which we have to borrow from communist China, to give to Egypt, a country that uh, should not need U.S. help. Uh, and so, as chair of the Foreign Affairs Committee, I'm keeping a close eye on the Obama administration, on the State Department, uh, to make sure that they don't rush into funding a government that is still holding uh, uh, some of our citizens under, under uh, charges, that has not really said as straight out as we would like that they want uh, that peace treaty with Israel to be accepted and honored 100%. Yes, the president-elect said all the right things, kind of, in his acceptance speech, but that's when the international cameras were on him. We all say the, same, the good things then. It's when the cameras leave, and it's how he rules the country. Let's see what powers he has, and... Uh, we saw that the State Department just gave a visa uh, last week to uh, uh, just a few days ago to one of the uh, one of the folks who's responsible for these terror terrible terrorist attacks, and uh, uh, they just can't seem to recognize who is a friend and who is a foe, and they think everybody is our ally. Well, they're not. Some people are out to destroy us. 